I got a cool groove to show y'all today, man. Slick, fun, easy to play, all that stuff. Grab your sticks, come on back. If you've been a fan of this channel for long enough, then you would know that one of my heroes, one of my biggest influences and favorite drummers of all time is a guy named Phil Gould. Phil Gould used to play with a band called Level 42 back in the day. If you haven't heard of Level 42, check them out. Go way back to the early days and listen to Phil's playing. It's going to knock your socks off. One of the best groove players of all time. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite Phil-isms that he used to do a lot when he was grooving and it has to do with the hi-hat. There was a very slick approach that he would take to playing this particular thing and I'm going to show it to you right now. So this particular Phil-ism involves two elements, all right? There's a sticking pattern that you're going to play with the uh, right hand on the hi-hats or left hand if you're a left-handed drummer um, and then the second element is with the left foot or right foot if you're a left-handed drummer. So the elements themselves are really simple. Okay, so let's start with first the, um, the sticking pattern that you're playing with the, uh, with the right hand on the hi-hats. And it's really simply just a 1EN, e 2EN, e 3EN, e 4EN, right? So if this is the time, two, three, four, one, two, three, it's just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay, now that's simple enough to play. A very easy um, breakdown of how to do that. It's just two bounces and a snap. Bounce, bounce, snap for that last one. Now the second element to this groove is the slickest part and it's also the easiest. So what you're going to do is, if we're counting eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, all you're going to do, first of all, stay on your toes on the hi-hat pedal, right? So your heel is kind of suspended and sort of bouncing around and, and ready to move. All you're going to do is just kind of stomp out all of the and, so all the offbeats of the eighth notes. So the time is here, one, two, three, you're just going to be going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, like that. Now, a lot of times when you're grooving, if you're on your toes, your left foot is just, it's just going to start moving, or at least it should, right? Um, your left foot is just kind of going to be moving around, bouncing around. What Phil did with this is that he just basically took advantage of the momentum and he coupled doing this with that little pattern that you're playing, the sticking pattern with, uh, with the right hand. Those two things working independently kind of work together at the same time to create the feel and the sound of this particular groove on the hi-hat. So all you have to do to make this groove happen is to stomp out those offbeat eights with the left foot on the hi-hat and then with the right hand just play that sticking pattern over top of it. Use the tip of the stick to get the cleanest sound 
play on top of the hats, all right? And again, all you gotta do is play that pattern while you're stomping out those offbeat eights, and the thing just kind of figures itself out. You don't have to physically try to play those open hats. There's no need for that. As long as you start to play that pattern while your left foot's moving, it's gonna happen. Now, if you're having trouble trying to get this thing happening nice and clean, there is another option for you to play it. You don't necessarily have to play all three notes when you're doing this, because right now we're going 1E and 2E and 3E and that type of thing. What you could do is in, instead of playing the 1E and 2E and, just play the 1E, 1E, 2E, 3E, 4E. Because what's happening is the left foot is stomping out that third note anyway. So at the end of the day, I mean, it sounds exactly the same, but I suggest just work on getting this happening. You know what I mean? Looks cooler from the audience and it could get you out of a traffic ticket. So that's all there is to it. So it's just a matter of, you know, syncing up that left foot with the right hand on the hi-hat there. Once you get that happening, all you gotta do is add the boom crack and you roll it. If you're currently supporting me on Patreon, that track that I played off the top, it's just a three minute little loop that I created for this video. I'm gonna make that available for all my patrons as a free download. Shout out to all my patrons for the constant support. If you would like to become a patron yourself, there is a link in the description box. Just click on that, take you straight over there. So that's it for me here. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. That right there subscribe button mash that before you bounce drop a comment below if you got one share this video if you dig it like subscribe see you next video